right, guys, I'm just going to show you real quick how I'm setting this trap. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Anyone can do it, really. You just want to cut off a couple of pieces around just so the rabbit kind of comes in and tries to investigate and it gets comfortable in the area. And then uh, I got the trap set on a little trail so they'll walk comfortably right through it. And you want to make sure that all the grass is down the other end so it looks like there's an exit on the other side. And after that, I mean, it's pretty much easy. You can just put the rest of this apple in there and you're good. What's up, everybody? Uh, trapping today, doing some trap checking. I got some live traps out, some foothold traps. So whatever we catch, I'll update you on. And hopefully by the title, you can tell what it is. And we're going to get to cooking. Hopefully it's something good because I don't want to eat another coyote. No, I'm just gonna... All righty. First live trap catch for me. This rabbit right here. Pretty plump one. This, it's been out here for about two days. We put some apple in there. It looks like it, dang, it tore the whole apple up. It's not, yeah. it was trapped, but it wasn't too trapped to be scared to eat. But we're gonna go ahead and dispatch this and catch clean cook coming soon. All right, guys, back in the kitchen. I'm um, gonna be cooking this rabbit up. And I've never done this before, so if I don't do it the way you think it should be done, I guess leave me a comment because. I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna try to go ahead and split this open up here so I can uh, kind of get it more evenly cooked. But like I said, I've, I've never done this before, so cut me some slack here. It's not really wanting to work out in my favor because the neck, but that's that'd be fine anyway. I'll get it split open while it's on the grill, or at least I'll try. So that's what it looks like right now. It's kind of, it's more open than it was, so that's, that's good. Now I'm gonna go season, you know, all sides and everything, but I'm gonna try something similar to the coyote because the coyote, I cut all the fat off of it, but in this one, um, it just hardly has any fat on it anyway because it's a rabbit. So I'm gonna just rub a little bit of olive oil in there just to give it more fat and hopefully, hopefully help the seasoning um, stick to it. So I'm gonna rub that in. And just one tip that I've, I've kind of discovered um, throughout my time, like, you know, experimenting with these new animals and stuff that I've never cooked before. Um, you always, this might be different for some people, but for, in my experience, you always want to eat it like a few, a few days or something after you clean it. Because if you remember what it smelled like when you were cleaning it, it's gonna be a lot harder to eat, at least in my opinion. Like, if I were to be able to smell that coyote I just ate in that last video um, while I was eat or yeah, while I was eating it, then I probably wouldn't have been able to finish it. And rabbit, as far as, uh, you know, animals, eating animals go, is not nearly as bad as coyote, but, uh, I mean, it still has a, a strange smell that's not very pleasant. And uh, just in my experience, you really don't want to be smelling that while you're, um, eating the rabbit or even preparing or anything. But yeah, so I got this olive oil all rubbed in to all the cracks and everything. It's hopefully gonna add a little bit of a fat content and make the seasoning stick a little bit better. And I don't really have any rhyme or reason for why I'm using these seasonings. I just think they'll go good together. And uh, so I'm gonna throw them in there with the rabbit. First, gonna go with some salt, just cause you can't really have anything without salt. Same with pepper. Then I'm gonna go in with some, probably some smoked paprika just for some smoky flavor and uh, the color. I love using smoked paprika instead of paprika just cause it's an extra layer of flavor. And then onion powder and garlic powder. It's like a deadly duo with anything you cook. And you really can't overdo it with these. I've, I've never in my life overdone it with garlic powder or onion powder. I don't think it's possible. There we go. I'm just gonna pat it in. And then flip it over and do the other side. I'll see you guys out there at the grill once I get this all seasoned up and we get to um, cooking. I can't really set the, uh, the tripod down until I get this out of the way just because as you can see, I'm smoking a, a couple of Boston butts up there. I don't know if it's supposed to be smoking that much, but I've never smoked anything before. So 
Uh, I guess let me know if that's a, a bad sign. But anyway, I got the grill heated up. It says it's about 450. So let's get this rabbit on here. I guess I'm gonna go back down first just cause that'll be the best sear, I think. Most contact with the grill. I hope you guys caught that. My phone had a, a battery notification. Sorry about that. But yeah, we got it on there. Uh, I'll hit y'all back when I flip it over. Hopefully it turns out good. All righty guys, I'm about to open it up. You're seeing it with me. I haven't opened it up at all yet. Um, sorry if you hear a train back there. I can't help the train, but I'll try to let it get as far past as it could. So you can't, at least you can't hear the horn anymore. But here it is. Let's go for the flip. Got a little bit of char on there. So as you can see, this is what it's looking like. Yeah, honestly, it smells fantastic. It looks good too, honestly. I, I really, I think it's gonna turn out good. I'll let y'all know. Whenever I look at the other side of it, I'll hit y'all back. Golly, this smoke is killing me. All righty guys, I'm opening it up again. Gonna check out this other side. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is probably gonna turn out good because it smells pretty great. Yeah, and the other side's getting some good color on it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, temperature check the, the legs and stuff because I've heard and I've, I've seen online that 160 is a safe uh, temperature to eat rabbit at. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a, uh, a read on the thermometer just because I don't want to overcook it or anything. I think it's not done, it's pretty soft. Yeah, it's definitely not done. So I'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up on this uh, upper, uh, upper rack um, just to keep the, the heat in there and everything. And then I'll, I guess use the grill as sort of like an oven just to finish the rabbit off. Cause it's just, I'm, I'm happy with the sear I got on it. I mean, you can see the good grill marks and everything. And so now I'm just going to uh, move it to the upper rack. Oh, sorry, just like that. And then close her up. Now I'll let her get heated up and I'll hit y'all back once it's ready. All right, so uh, I just checked the temperature. It's at about 160. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and we're gonna eat it. So let's get it in there. All right, we got it in here. It's been resting for maybe two or so minutes. Uh, I'm not real hopeful that I'm gonna be able to cut through this backbone, but I'm gonna give it a try, at least try to get some of these legs off so we can split them up, because it's me and my friend here eating. Uh, and I don't think we wanna eat off the same rabbit at the same time. So I'm gonna try to get this backbone split, but if not, I'm just gonna try to get the uh, the back quarters off. I can already tell this is gonna be rough. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, so. Maybe I can pull these legs off. Oh yeah definitely a lot easier to do that like i said guys this is my first time ever uh cooking or anything with rabbits so golly it's not tough at all i mean i can just pull the leg off but it's kind of hot that's the problem anyways we'll get this figured out off camera because it's going to take a little bit more muscle i think um and i'll let you know how it tastes all righty guys i'm gonna get to my plate because the camera angle but there it is i got half a rabbit and my friend has half rabbit. We got some, just some pasta or something we threw together as like a side dish. Uh, I'm just gonna give this a try for you. This is my first time ever trying rabbit, I think. I don't think I've ever had it before. But uh, it smells incredible. I think it's gonna taste incredible too, but I'll give it a go. It's super good. It's tougher than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still not as tough as chicken. So, uh, I mean, really, I give it like a, a solid seven and a half, eight out of 10, mainly because it'd probably be better if someone who knew how to cook it cooked it. But I mean, I would eat it again just for my own cooking. So I recommend it. So thanks for watching guys. Um, remember to subscribe, like the video, comment. I got some more stuff coming. Uh, hopefully raccoon, possum, anything I catch really. Uh, and hopefully a deer comes soon also. So thanks, bye.